Hi there, it's Hillary and welcome back to the Creative Faith YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my planners. Um, I'm going to set up my monthly for July as well as the first, the end of July, first week of August, and my catch-all planner, my journal, and my gratitude notebook. So I am going to first start off with the July monthly in here. And I am going to be using my Summer Mugs printable. This is just one of the pages. And it is one of my favorite printables. And you guys have been loving it too. There's verse cards. There's traveler's notebook pages. And then the actual main printable with all the mugs and verses and things like that. I will link all three of the Summer Mugs printables in the description box below. And then I also printed, which I haven't used yet actually, my months printable. And it's all my hand lettering and um, this is the neutral set. I also have a colorful set and it comes with the months. And so I am I'm going to use this one for over here for kind of my title page. And then another new thing I have in the shop are various, it's like a planner printable bundle. And it has a bunch of different printables that can help you set up your planner. And so for me, I created this new spread that I have been using every month and it's been super duper awesome. I have it covered because it has every single bit of our financial information. But <laughs> basically what I do is I have the item um, I have the time period for because like our credit card versus like the water <laughs> for our apartment versus our rent. Like it doesn't all like this says June finances, but some of the dates like our water bill is actually I paid it in June, but the water bill is actually from halfway through March through April. And then I have the date paid and then the amount. And so I was kind of getting annoyed <laughs> at creating the little chart and so I made this printable version and um, in the printable it's a full page and then you can just look up on Google what to size printables down for. So this is a B6 size planner. I'll link the blog post I found in the description box below that is helpful for explaining more about that. And I printed it at 58%. And so you can see it's the perfect size now for my B6 planner. So I'm really excited to start using this. So what I've been doing basically is doing a title, the monthly calendar, and then the bill tracker. So I love my Creative Faith Planner because the pages in between are customizable and you can do whatever you want with them. You can make a gratitude page. At the beginning I was doing habit trackers and then I realized that wasn't working. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am gonna put you guys on fast forward now and set up my planners for July and do the first week in, in them. So here we go.
All right, I finished with my July monthly setup and my catch-all creative faith planner. So I put the mugs around and summer mugs and I put July, Jesus fills my cup. And then I used a lot of stars from this little wedding book. <laughs> I really like how that turned out. And then this is the monthly setup. I used my um, past or colorful circled date dots and I'll link that printable in the description box below. I love how this turned out too with the kind of red white and blue mugs and more stars and stuff like that and then on the back side I have the bill tracker all ready to be filled out. Again I absolutely love this because it makes it really easy for me to try and keep up with all paying all the things. And then, oh, and then I forgot my weekly setup in here. I also really love how this turned out. Um, I use my date square printable that I'll link in the description box below. And the mugs, and so I have a spot for to-do list here and here, and I found this little Aaron sticker. It was kind of hard to find kind of like reddish stickers, but I think I did an okay job. <laughs> then in my, let's do this one next, in my journal. I really like how this turned out. I used some of these from the Homebody Seasons sticker book, which is a favorite of mine. I also used a lot from Indigo too throughout these few spreads. And yeah, I just love how this turned out with the mugs and um, I love this Bible verse. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. And then lastly, my little bitty gratitude calendar is really fascinating because June and July in this planner fall under June and in here the it falls under July. I just thought that was kind of interesting. And so I went with kind of the tea theme in my gratitude journals. So I have the mug and of tea with a couple tea bags and then some boxes and important early mornings with Jesus. So those are my first end of June, first week of July planner spread setups. <laughs> so I hope you guys loved this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos. And I'd also love to hear from you in the comments below with what is something you are looking forward to for the month of July. It's going to be an absolutely crazy month for me. <laughs> we have a lot of church activities going on which is why I need to be reminded that I am full of the Holy Spirit to get it all done. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what is something you are looking forward to for the month of July, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!